I have a confession. As a musician, I do not practice nearly as often as I should. And my practice sessions are very unproductive. I tend to not have an objective. I get bored. And then I allow my creativity bug to kick in. And two hours later, I really haven't gotten anything done. If you're anything like me, you can resonate with this is that practice can be a pain and I tend to not do it as often as I should. I am challenging myself to practice every day going forward for at least 30 minutes a day and I got a practice journal. I'm Anitra J from the Crafted Musician blog. I post weekly videos right here on YouTube helping musicians build a fan base and make money with music. But today I want to talk about a more practical aspect of being a musician. Uh, no pun intended, but 10 reasons why Musicians should use a good practice journal. If you want to learn more DIY hacks for your music career, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be personally notified every time we upload a new video. Number one, stay organized. Keeping a practice journal allows you to write down all your notes in one place and keep track with those notes over time. It also allows you to keep track of things you're working on, things that you haven't been able to master yet. And it also allows you to keep track of your plans and objectives and goals as far as what you want to accomplish for each practice today, tomorrow, next month, next year. Staying organized is definitely a plus when it comes to keeping a practice journal. As you're keeping track of these notes over time, this allows you to track your progress, which is the second benefit of keeping a practice journal is that you get to track your progress over time. You get to go back and see what you've done in the past and how you have accomplished your goals and how you progressed over time. Number three, a practice journal helps you to stay accountable. It's a great way to hold yourself accountable. If you ever want to form a habit, journal it and keep notes about it because you're going to want to keep those notes going. You're going to want to have a sense of achievement. And so if you have a routine in place every day, I'm going to practice every day for 30 minutes and you're keeping a practice journal, you go back and look at empty pages <laughs> and empty areas where you were supposed to put your practice notes and you don't have it, you know, you're going to look bad to yourself. And so it's a great way to keep yourself accountable, keeping notes and keeping a practice journal. Now, depending on what kind of practice journal you get, a good practice journal should help you become more productive in your practicing because you'll be able to write down goals and objectives for each practicing session. So if you have a area in your practice journal that prompts you to write down what your goals are, what your objectives are, and how you want to um, move forward and progress in your music practice, that is really going to help you to maintain productivity with each practice that you have. Number five, journaling your practice sessions helps you to build momentum. Like I said in the intro of this video, listen, I do not practice nearly as often as I should. And so when I go two, three days without practicing, without exercising my vocals, exercising my, my muscles and my fingers, you know, y'all know I play guitar, but I tend to lose out on the moment, momentum that I am supposed to be building as a musician and in my, you know, musicianship as a professional musician, it's really important that I maintain my skills and I maintain my uh, level of progress as far as in my music. And so when I'm, you know, as far as singing, you really have to sing every day. You have to sing, you have to practice performing, practice your skill every day. And so if you're missing practice, you are not maintaining momentum. But keeping a practice journal, you 
can keep yourself accountable. And over time, that helps you to maintain that momentum to be the best musician you can be. Number six, a good practice journal is going to help you to learn things more quickly. You can learn things faster if you are practicing every day for at least 30 minutes and you are writing down what your objectives are and what your target is as far as learning new things. For example, each day you can write down in your practice journal what part of a piece you want to learn on that particular day. Whereas if you didn't have these objectives in place, maybe you would forget what you're what you're trying to learn, what you're trying to progress toward. You're going to miss your practices because you're not holding yourself accountable and it's just going to be a big mess. Now, I'm speaking from my own experience. Now, if this is not y'all, then, you know, y'all are much better than me. But I'm telling you, this is what's happening for me. And so keeping a practice journal for me is going to be key as far as being able to build that momentum and being able to learn things a lot faster. I don't know about y'all, but I like having lists. And my favorite thing about having a to-do list is scratching things off of the to-do list because it gives me that sense of accomplishment. And that's what keeping a practice journal can do for you as a musician is giving you a sense of accomplishment. Once you start putting your notes down and journaling every single practice, talking about what you did, what you accomplished, what you think you want to do next for your next practice, you look back over several months of of your notes, that is going to give you a huge sense of accomplishment. And as a musician, as a professional, having that feeling of, I'm doing great, I'm accomplishing things, I'm practicing every day, that really helps you to move forward in your profession and in your musicianship. Plus, having those notes in place over time will help you to assess what your needs are as a musician. And so that's the eighth benefit of keeping a practice journal as a musician is you'll be able to better assess what your needs are. You'll be able to assess where you excel and also areas for improvement. Looking back over those notes and targeting areas that you definitely had more trouble with, like let's say certain chords, certain chord positions on for a guitarist that you just simply cannot do. Your fingers are not meant to be stretching like that. <laughs> um, that's something that you could practice and maybe start to build that muscle over time. And so having a practice journal will help you to pinpoint those specific areas to assess those needs. If you're working with a music instructor, keeping a practice journal will help you to better communicate with your instructor and also will help you get the most out of your sessions with that instructor overall. Because let's say you're practicing throughout the week and you end up having tons of questions and you don't write it down and then you get to the to the, your lesson and you don't know what the hell you were doing throughout the week you don't remember and most of all you don't remember your questions that you asked yourself when you were practicing so keeping a practice journal will help you to remember questions you had you can bring those notes to your lesson and you are more prepared for your lesson and you can get the most out of that. And also your instructor can help you to come up with objectives and keep you on track with all of your tasks and things that you want to do for your individual practices in between your lessons. So keeping a practice journal will help you to get the most out of your um, lessons with your music instructor. Number 10, a good practice journal will help you to be more efficient with your time. Like I said, let's look y'all, my shirt says mom. <laughs> I'm a mom. I'm a first time mom. I have a toddler. <laughs> I ain't got the time. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. No, I actually, I, I need to make time. I need to make time to practice, but I don't have a lot of it. So like I said earlier, my challenge is I am trying to practice at least every day, at least 30 minutes a day, right? So um, having a practice journal, having those objectives already planned out and putting together a list of goals that I, I want to accomplish during practice sessions will be paramount for me to be able to make the most out of that 30 minutes. So definitely 
get a practice journal. This is the one that I recommend. I am going to include a link down below in the description box. I really love it. And um, I think at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some, some pictures or some video of me turning the pages in my practice book so that you'll get an idea of what, what this book actually has inside of it that makes it effective. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, post it down in the comment section. Let me know how's it going for you. Do you resonate at all with not being able to find a time to practice and when you do the practice sessions are not effective um will this book help you let me know in the comment section and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching and remember you can do anything you put your mind to as long as you commit and believe in yourself keep it crafty head on over to thecraftymusician.com for more tips and tricks to level up your music career talk to you soon